A 52 card deck typically consists of four suits, hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Each suit contains 13 cards, 10 numbered cards, A through 10, and three face cards, jack, queen, and king. Hearts and diamonds are red suits, while clubs and spades are black suits. However, to properly understand where this globally recognized system comes from, we need to step back in time. More than 600 years ago, playing cards were first introduced to the fringes of European society, most likely from the Middle East, as it was once known as the Moorish game. While there is an earlier recorded history of playing cards dating back nearly two centuries earlier to China and the Far East, most suspect that it was initially an Arabic game. Arabic countries were the capitals of knowledge and human advancement for centuries. Trade between Europe and the Arabic world was increasing in the 14th century, and as Egyptian merchants entered southern Europe, they had a new game to share and sell. The concept of an easy, portable, and endlessly amusing game caught on in Europe, and with the advent of the Gutenberg printing press in 1440, large-scale production of playing cards made them accessible to the common people. While there was no definitive record of which specific card games were played back then, most scholars assume that the games had somewhat similar rules or guidelines to the games still played today. Over the centuries, there have been tens of thousands of different designs and variations in terms of colors, suits, figure placements, characters, scenes, and even social intent. Playing cards have been bawdy, socially critical, informative, and were even considered fine art at various points in history. In many ways, playing cards had the ability to reflect one's culture and possibly spread that information or art to other parts of the world. When those first Europeans came in contact with playing cards, the Moorish game had four suits, chalice, sword, money, and baton. However, these symbols didn't translate well in Italy, Spain, Germany, England, and France, some of the earliest countries to adopt playing cards. Germanic countries switched the suits to hearts, acorns, bells, and leaves, while France and England settled on hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs, the suits with which most of us are now familiar. These came to be known as French playing cards, and also included the three face cards, jack or knave, queen or lady, and king. While these basic elements are typically the same in modern playing cards, there are thousands of variations. Swiss, Italian, German, and Spanish decks come in various sizes to enable different types of games, and over the centuries, hundreds of different suits, alternative face cards, and sizes have been made. Concerning 52 as the total card count, there are numerous theories. Some argue that the four suits represent the four seasons, while the 52 cards represent the 52 weeks in a year. Others explain the 13 cards per suit as representations of the 13 lunar cycles. This belief might not be far off, as the Arabic world was highly proficient in astronomy and may have set a universal standard for an increasingly populated and intermingling world based on something that everyone could understand. Whatever their origins, with the broad range of suits, deck sizes, face cards, and games that are played around the globe, playing cards will almost certainly continue to evolve.